So here's a pretty compact system uh, I just wrapped up. This basically just consists of a combi and all the usual goodies attached to it um, for domestic hot water hookup. This, in this case, it's actually sweat fittings uh, for the customer. So here's our auto feed that's going to fill the heating side of the boiler. Here's our uh, service valves for the domestic connections and uh, our primary manifold here. And you can see we configure this uh, to be able to fit a pretty tight space. It's actually going to be going under a stairwell in a tight closet. So didn't have a lot of room to work in here. Um, the only thing you're not seeing on here, as in most of my builds, is the expansion tank. That will be plumbed right off of this port here on the air separator. Uh, so that will be located wherever there's some uh, additional room in that closet. But you can see we have a nice uh, tight fit. Everything, all the components are, are here, um, but we configure it in a way that... Everything will be extremely compact in order to fit. So um, again, we're going with a uh, VT2218 variable speed circulator. Um, you can see here, as soon as it comes out of the circulator, it splits off. So what this is actually going to be is a single zone uh, that has two separate loops. It's a pretty small home. It was actually a barn that was an older barn that was converted into a home. So there's not a ton of space to heat. Um, no need for two separate zones. Uh, but we did want to split off to at least cover um, one direction of the house and, and one on the other side. So um, you can see the two returns here. We have our, our purge valves here so that we can fill both of those um, and purge all the air out of each of those um, heating loops. So um, I also have a NaviClean on this system here to keep all the uh, uh, junk out uh, from going into the boiler. So yeah, I mean, we can configure these pretty tight. So this thing is... I believe about 40 inches wide. I um, can't remember the height of this thing, but it's pretty compact. So, you know, if you have a unique scenario where you need to get something, um, you know, fit pretty tight into a location, we could design around that. Um, obviously, you could see you still have to somehow fit these components. Um, you can't really go much smaller than this, but we could we could squeeze these into to some to some tight areas. So, um, if you need a design as well and you want to build one yourself or hand off a design to a, a plumber or handyman. Um, I also offer designs for um, all sorts of systems whether it be baseboard, radiant heat, um, you name it. So we're over here working on our next build as we speak. Um, check out all of our other videos I have. Tons of them up there on boiler designs. Um, plenty of other videos of construction projects and whatnot. So um, if this is your first time seeing this channel, subscribe. Give a like to any of my videos. It goes a long way. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.